It's another day out of the shop working on a Cadillac. It is three weeks later. Three weeks later. We got a bunch of parts, a radiator, some coolant hoses, some shocks, a bunch of other goodies. We're gonna try to get this thing roadworthy, go through and make sure that we can drive this thing. So uh, right now it doesn't have heat, doesn't have anything holding the windows in. That's gonna be a good time. Dad's back here. Hi, Dad. Anyway, uh, we did a little bit of uh, body work on the roof. We dug out a bunch of this stuff when uh, we first got it to see how bad the roof is, and it's not great. So we uh, patched those up. That way we don't have any water going inside the car on our trip. We're gonna go ahead and get on to the cooling and the shocks. What happened? The discharge line. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's not important. No. All right, so we uh, pulled the radiator hoses off. These are the uh, transmission cooler lines. Um, radiator hoses off of here. This is all loose. We're gonna pull this out. And we have a nice new aluminum radiator to put in there. That should uh, help this thing stay cool. New hoses, and we gotta hook up that heater core. What's up, what are you finding in here? Uh, parts, old parts. And yeah, a, parts a of a nastiness. kitty. But other than that, looks good. Transmission fluid out of there. Yeah. We have some more rubber we can put in here for isolators. Okay. Uh, I mean, right now, you know, all the normal parts are pretty in good shape. They're just going to clean them up. So far, so good. I wonder if we should tr take this rubber off and try to uh, just clean it up. Um, you know, the in the front, it's part of the cooling system, and I don't know if we can figure out how to just uh, take this piece of rubber off and then lay it and try to heat it up somehow. Yeah. Should I we just replace it with this? Yeah. So we pulled this guy out, which is a little air dam underneath here. There's a bunch of good, good stuff in here. Clean all that out. And I have some new rubber, but I think I'm gonna have to get some more because this is pretty wide. So this is probably three and a half feet long. We are gonna probably make a new one out of this and then put it back underneath here so we have adequate cooling. Trying to get to the heater controls, see how to get any of this working again. It's all vacuum operated, so we uh, are gonna see what we can do. Radio doesn't work, we know that. Even if I was able to pull this through, there's a like a capacitor. There's a capacitor on the other side. But, but does it need to come out? Well, I'm trying to figure out how to pull this pull tray out. It's gotta come out somehow. Koi made it out to help. We're just kind of scuffing the whole car and then we'll uh, go back and clean it up with some wax. We're not gonna paint the car right now. We just want it to be all kind of the same color, which right now it's not. So notice like all these spots. Just get some wax and grease remover, scrub the whole car down and then we'll put a coat of wax on it. At least it'll all stay the same color. All right, we're wrapping up on round two, day one, which is really day four, I think. So it's really cold in the shop here. We got the whole car uh, scuffed up. We are going to wipe this all down with some wax and tar remover tomorrow and hit it with some wax just to even it out a little bit. Koi made it out. Hi, Koi. Howdy. Yeah. So we're just wrapping up. We're gonna pull the battery out of this just so it doesn't die overnight. We're gonna get the wheels and tires and uh, get this thing on the ground again tomorrow. Then we have to wrap up the radiator, the shocks, and uh, some coolant lines, stuff like that, just to get everything good and ready to go. So tomorrow should be a good productive day and we will get to it tomorrow. It's, uh, it's cold. All right, we're working on wiring up a new gauge set. Um, none of the gauges on the dash of this car work. Dad's under there chasing some wires. We're gonna put a little three gauge pod like this on the dash just to give us a peace of mind. So we've run a new temperature sensor right in there, right here. And then we have a ground going, and then we have a power line going over here, and then... And then... 
we're trying to get the wiring for the lights. So when the lights turn on, the lights on the gauges work. Oh, I forgot. Got the tires back from the shop. They checked out. We are ready to drive this thing. What, what happened? I found it. There's a, there's a socket in there. Cool. A bulb socket that's just sitting there with no bulb in it. Excellent. So we put a new aluminum radiator in here. We've made some new mounts. We're gonna weld these up right here. New hose, new um, heater hoses. Our lower hose we're having an issue with. We're gonna go grab another one in the morning. But that is ran. We've also run this gauge set right here that is probably gonna live right there. And then that runs all in here. It gives us oil pressure, it gives us water temperature, and it gives us voltage um, of the electrical system. So that all seems to be working okay for now, but we need to get another hose before we can check all that off the list. So everything else seems to be working well. We got a lot of the electrical figured out under the dash, and tomorrow we should be able to wrap this thing up. So we just have shocks to put on. We gotta put that lower hose on. We need to put this little potentiometer thing to make our heater work. Oh, well, we gotta put the hood back on, yeah. That should be, that'll be a good time. All right, we're wrapping up. This is gonna be the end of day five and we will be back tomorrow morning, hopefully to wrap this thing up and we can drive it. I'm excited. Ready? Ready. Here we go. It's the morning on day six. Yes. Day six or day three, round two. I'm at the hotel picking up dad. We're gonna go run a couple errands and hopefully get this car back together so we can drive it. We're here. Yes, we are. Look this dark beard now. Oh, it's not that dark, but it's better than it was before. <laughs> So we got a few things to do today. We went over to AutoZone, picked up a couple of hoses that uh, hopefully will fit our deal. We can get that going and we will be done pretty much with the cooling system on this car. We can fill it up. Then we can start the car. We can get our gauges tested, make sure those all work. And then the hood can go back on this thing. Hopefully some friends will come by. We will uh, have some extra help to put this hood on because it's absolutely giant. We gotta work on some stuff under the dash stuff, so let's get to it. So we have the outlet from the radiator down here and the outlet from the water pump right there. We need to make a tube that goes from one to the other because the radiator is now smaller than it used to be. So we went down to the store, picked up this adapter. We're gonna weld a bead all the way around this after we grind off all of the uh, coating that's on this. And then this is going to couple the two and we will have a lower a radiator hose finally. All right, here is the piece. It ain't pretty, but it's functional. So that's gonna go between those two hoses. What are you doing? I'm running power to the potentiometer so we can make this fan work and yeah. hopefully have some heat. Huh? I'm just gonna hold on to this for a minute and see if it gets hot. Because right now the weak point is this switch. You can see right over here, right there, we installed a toggle switch to turn the blower motor on. Go ahead and click that switch. Oh yeah, totally works great. Heater so, for days. Well, we'll see how the heater works. <laughs> at least. But at least we could turn the heater on and off um, before that didn't work. So we're gonna put this back together, put some coolant in this thing and we should be able to start it up.
was like, maybe I can get it. And I was like, no, I'll wait. Just this one for now. Yeah. I feel good. We got a lot accomplished this week. I think we're good to go. Do something with the heater core or I'm bypass sorry. it or <laughs> do whatever. Make it work. It's fine. And uh, get some glass to stay in the car and seal some windows up and I think we're good to go. It's a good car. It's going to be a good trip. It's outside. It's late, but it's outside. All right, we made it. We're on the maiden voyage going back to the shop. We went and got some gas in this thing. The heater core leaks, that's a great time. So we are gonna take that out, figure out another option for heat on our trip. It's like a foggy salon in here. <laughs> we gotta figure that out, but we're done for the day, done for the weekend, and we are going to sign it out. Thanks for watching. We will pick you up on Hot Rod Power Tour. Hopefully this thing stays a little bit warmer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.